Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick Sephora haul and I have a bunch of stuff. I kind of went crazy. I went in there for foundation and came out with a bunch of stuff. So um, I figured this would make a good video. A bunch of goodies that I have not tried. Um, wanted to pick up some repurchases and perfume, things like that. So yeah, let's just jump right in and I'll show you everything that I got. So I've been eyeing this perfume forever now, and every time I'm at Ulta or Sephora, I always like test it out and spray it, and I'm like, oh, I love this so much. But I have not gotten like a full-size perfume in a really, really long time. I have not gotten a new perfume in a while, because I just repurchased like my Turquatic, uh, maybe around Christmas time or something. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Um, but that's what I wear daily, and I really wanted to try something new. I do have that Scentbird... Um, perfume subscription service thing and I get a scent bird every month but it's great that you can try out different scents and then get like a full size if you really like it but I already knew that I love this one so I just got it just gonna show you it's by Lancome it's the purple bottle um, midnight rose and this is what it looks like it smells so good it is so me like it's super it's really sweet, kind of florally, I, I describe scents, but um, definitely check it out. It smells amazing and I feel like it could be like more of a nighttime scent, but I've been wearing it during the day and I've been getting actually a lot of compliments on it, so um, and I literally just got it, but I've been wearing it every day since. <laughs> so that is my first purchase. I wanted to try this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water because so many people are raving about this and yes, I have not tried it. Um, so I wanted to give it a go and I tried it today and um, we'll see how it holds up um, if it makes my makeup last throughout the day but it smells really good and I enjoy a little a little uh, finishing spray I love the Scandinavia so decided to try that one then I wanted to get the makeup forever uh, ultra HD which is the new formula that just came out I've been wearing the HD every day and I mix it with the NARS Sheer Glow, which I got another one because I'm running out. Um, the last time I got the Sheer Glow was when I went to Cancun in October, so it lasted me a pretty long time. And uh, I just, I like mixing these two together, so right now I decided to put these both on today. Um, this one is in 120 and this one is in Fiji. So. I think I really like the formula of this and I think it matched pretty well to my skin tone so that is what I'm wearing right now just repurchase some foundations and I heard that I definitely needed to try the Ultra HD. I got another repurchase of uh, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I get this in the lightest shade in Chantilly. Love using this for highlighting underneath the eyes um, it's just really brightening so I enjoy that. I have really been wanting to try out the Naked Skin um, Concealer, the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. Everyone talks about this concealer and how much they love it, so um, I decided to try this as well. And I got mine in Light Neutral, and I think that this is going to be good for when I get a little bit tanner because it like just matches my skin tone, and I like concealers a little bit lighter, but um, I mix this actually with the NARS, so it makes a good color together. And I do feel like this one is a little bit like more pinky tone than I am. Maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't look like that anymore. But I guess when I was applying it, it looked a little different. Um, I've been used to using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because I just ran out of that. And I don't know why I didn't pick one up for myself when I was at the mall. But um, I used that and mixed that with the... Uh, the NARS one. <laughs> I decided to get, I don't know why I needed this, like half this stuff I really did not need. But this is just what happened. I decided to try the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Stark Naked. And this is, I think, I think one of the new um, lip liners because the other one is in Naked and I was going to get that one but this one looked like new. So it's just like a basic kind of darker nude uh, for every day. This might look really similar to, yeah, it's kind of similar. Today I used MAC's, um, on my lips I used MAC Strip Down with Blankety uh, Lipstick and then a ColourPop Lippy Stick and Addict over top. So I kind of got a lot going on on my lips today. But um, this is just like a basic nude 
color. Um, I really like the formula of these and whatever, just pick that up. Then, sorry, I keep touching my hair. It's down today, and this is why I haven't been wearing my hair down, and you guys have been like complaining that I wear my hair up so much, but like it's so freaking hot outside, and I cannot even stand it. Like I went to a concert and I wore my hair down. Biggest mistake ever, because literally my hair was drenched, but I just, I can't keep touching my hair because it's down, and I hate it, so... I'm sorry. A lot of good things about this Sephora liquid lipstick. So I tried. I did it. I decided to try this out. So this is in Marvelous Mauve, and it's like a nice, um, kind of deeper, mauvey pink. I got some lashes by the Sephora brand, and these ones look really, really nice. They're more of a. Uh, I don't know if you call them like minx or. It's the Lux. It's the plush Lux false lash and they're really really nice super like fluffy and like wispy um so i wanted to try this out and i got this for the packaging as well because it's like a little um plastic like case so um i can keep some of my lashes in here so they're not like out in the open all um along my sink in the bathroom because it's kind of disgusting uh, when people come in my bathroom and just see my lashes laying out everywhere. I guess it's kind of weird for other people to see that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use this for my lashes and try these out. Then, what else did I get? Oh, I got another perfume I decided to try. Um, I've heard good things about the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her. The Mary Kate and Ashley uh, branded perfumes. And these are actually two roller balls of both. And I heard from a friend that if you put both of these on, it smells really, really good if you like layer them. So I decided to get the little roller balls. I don't remember how much this was, probably like 20 bucks. Love carrying little roller balls in my purse if I need to like touch up and smell good throughout the day. This new eyeshadow by uh, Kat Von D, which is their bold pigment metallic finish eyeshadows. It's the Metallic Rush. And this one, does it say which? Ah. Oh, here we go. It says, this one is in Thunderstruck. And I'll show you guys a swatch if I can get it out. Oh, what is going on? Ugh. Okay. I, like, died when I swatched this because it was so, and, like, the texture is unbelievable. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's just so really shimmery. Like, you could put this, and it has, I can't even finish the sentence. <laughs> like, it has this golden, like, hue to it. It just shines. I feel like you could actually use this, like, on your face, too, as a highlighter. It is so beautiful. I cannot even describe. But this would be really nice to just pop in that inner tear duct. Um, to brighten up your eyes. I just, I love that. Picked up um, the Sephora lash applicator because I needed another one. I have one from Socialize and you guys have asked me um, about like where my lash applicator is from. Got it from Socialize when I ordered some lashes and um, I wanted to try these out. I like ones that aren't too pointy because you are getting really close to your eye and I don't really use tweezers anymore because it kind of freaks me out just in case I poke myself in the eye and um, I don't know it's kind of scary. So this one is really really nice. It kind of just has that like curved and um, really easy for lash application. So picked that up. Rest, I think they're for skin. Yeah. Um, so I picked up these little masks. I've never tried sheet masks ever, and I see so many people do them. So I wanted to try the Tony Molly. This is like an Asian brand, I believe. This is the Red Wine uh, Pore Care. This is the Lemon for brightening, and then this is the Aloe for moisturizing. So I really can't wait to try these. And it comes in a two-pack, so you get two of them, which is really nice, um, just in case you end up really liking one, and then you don't have to go back and get another, just like one mask, you know? So, excited about these. This was really expensive. Um, but I, I just, I don't know, it just looked so cool and just caught my eye. So, this is the Skin Ink Serums. And basically what you do, I think it's like for $95, you pick three different serums to uh, whatever fits your needs. I got vitamin A serum, 
um, collagen and hyaluronic acid and it shows you like what it does for the skin. It's my daily dose customizable serums can be blended to a unique formulation that is just right for your skin. My daily dose bottle in your favorite color to make and store your unique blend. Three drops twice a day before applying moisturizer. So this is actually really nice. It's like a glass bottle and of course I got the pink one and you open up all of these and then depending on whatever you want I mean I'm probably gonna mix all of the serums and put them all in the one bottle but it has all these little ones and then you kinda just drop whatever into the big one so um, yeah got these um, uh, Dr. Dennis Gross uh, skin care, the Alpha Beta Peel uh, 5 Daily Treatments, the gift of great skin. And two steps, one step surface refiner, and then the step two is the deeper treatment. It was in the little checkout area, and um, I got recommended to try this. So that was everything. So I wanted to ask you guys, I am planning, planning on doing a, a nighttime routine. Um, and what I wanted to do is kind of show you just the skincare, like nighttime skincare uh, of what I use every single night and I'm mostly using drugstore stuff right now so would you guys like to see because I use a bunch of different things for my skin but right now I have been using all drugstore so I'm thinking of doing like an all drugstore nighttime skincare routine let me know if you guys are interested in that I think it would be really great because you know not everyone has the money to splurge on these high-end skincare products and you can have a really good regimen for your skin um, without breaking the bank and um, you know I do have some higher end things that I use I mean I use my Clarisonic a lot and I have some products that are a little more expensive like this serum that I got I do use uh, a lot of drugstore stuff for my face and it works really great for me so I figured I would show you guys so that will probably be one of the next videos that I do um, I will be going on vacation this whole week and a huge surprise, I'm so excited to announce this, but um, Kate is coming to visit. If you guys don't know, Kate is like one of my best friends, um, Kate Nicole here on YouTube or Friday Night Highlight. And um, she's coming to visit, so I'm so excited to spend some time with her. Hopefully we can film some videos together. And um, yeah, just wanted to get up this quick haul for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them. Let me know your video suggestions in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All of them will be listed in the description as well. So also subscribe to my blog channel for daily vlogs. I will be vlogging a lot this week, most likely. Um, and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Ciao. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school, sort of fall inspired makeup look today, including a giveaway. Yay. So excited to be doing a back to school giveaway. I don't think I've ever done one and this is collaborated with Sigma Beauty providing the uh, gifts for the giveaway and I'm so excited about this so um, I really hope you guys enter the products that I use today on my face.